make sure to check out my Patreon where you can get access to full length album reviews and also you can get me to react to anything of your choice. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Pink. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I'm in such a good mood today, but maybe it's because I'm going to be reacting to Bill Burr. I love Bill Burr. I think he is hilarious. I know you guys think the same. I'm going to be reacting to uh, some people. What is it? Some people need lotion. Bill Burr. Um, I saw that a lot of people had reacted to this. I've never seen it before, so I'm really excited about it. I know I'm going to be dying laughing. Bill Burr is just so funny. It's just so hilarious. If you want to see me react to more from him or any other stand-up comedy or literally anything, like, comment. Please subscribe. Also check out my Patreon for some exclusive content. I'm starting to do movie reactions. That's on my Patreon. You know how YouTube is. I can't really show a full length movie reaction on YouTube. I am trying to edit one or learn how to edit them so I can get them through the algorithm and you guys can see a snippet of it on YouTube, but that's a whole separate conversation. So yeah, see you in my next video. Bye. I gotta admit, the only thing that freaks me out about Los Angeles is, uh, is all the plastic surgery. I don't, I don't get, get it. it. Why, Why do people, people get, get plastic, plastic surgery? You know? Why can't you just admit it's over? <laughs> you know? You had your time. <laughs> Stop trying to look fuckable in your 50s. It's weird. <laughs> you got their faces yanked back. Looking all shiny, right? <laughs> Not to mention they haven't even figured it out. You know? Why would you get a facelift? Can't you look at other facelifts and realize they haven't worked all the bugs out yet? Like, that's what you want to look like? That's like true. you just lost a fight three days ago? <laughs> Don't be a hero. Let somebody else go in there. Take the fucking beach. You, you lay back. Wait it out. They're just lying to people. I oh, know, it looks great, it looks great. Put a little ice on it, we'll see you in a couple weeks. All right, take it easy. Jesus <laughs> Christ, what the fuck happened? We followed every step, did we miss something? Oh, hey, 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 oh, here's your keys, here's your keys. There you go, there you go. Almost didn't recognize you, you look so young. All right, take it easy. She gone? All right, she's gone. All right, shred everything, shred it. No, you're nuts. You wait it out, let them figure it out, then you fucking go in. Don't be a goddamn hero, you know? Look at hair plugs. Hair plugs don't look half bad now. Saw this guy the other night on TV. He's like, oh, God, I wish I did this 10 years ago. It's like, no, you don't. <laughs> 10 Stop years that. ago, when they were stapling ant legs to the top of people's heads. <laughs> Remember that? Your eyes would water looking at their <laughs> hairline. Like, is that, is that sewn in? I see pine tar. They used to put you in like a headlock. Hold still. Use like a nail gun. Hold still. Guys would tap out after a row and a half. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> You wish you got hair plugs 10 years ago. Do you wish you got polio 60 years ago? <laughs> what else is on your wish list, sir? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you don't fuck with your face. Okay? I understand Bye. liposuction. They screw that up. You can put on a shirt, right? <laughs> There's no shirt for your face. <laughs> Who do they think they're fooling with their stupid, you know? And then you lie to yourself, I'm just gonna do it, I'm just gonna do this, just gonna, just gonna, just gonna have this done. No, you're not, you're not. What are you, you're just gonna wax the fender on your car, then that's it, and the rest of it looks all shitty? Well, maybe I'll just do the hood, and maybe I'll do the back. That's how it happens. Then you look like one of those real housewives, like, face all twisted up. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Do anyway, I look, they are, they're idiots. Do they look like I'm in my 20s? No, you look weird. You look fucking weird. You still look like you're in your 50s. I just can't guess what year anymore because I've never seen that year. I've never seen that shiny fucking look. It's almost like you discovered a new age between 52 and 53. Yeah. People, there's nothing wrong with being 52 and looking 52. All right, you're 52. You didn't get fucked. Yeah. What would you rather be, 52 and look 52 or be 52 and look like a 28-year-old lizard? I, that's your options at this point. <laughs> you 
You know what's really, really like actually uh, embarrassing is that the facelift, that's predominantly a white problem. <laughs> you notice that? I've never seen a black person with a facelift ever. Other than like the Jacksons, but they're all out of their minds, right? Because their dad made him rehearse all day and sleep in the fireplace. I jamming all nine. Get in there, you bastards! No hugs, no kisses. His face permanently twisted up from 50 years of screaming, Sing, motherfucker! It's understandable with them. Hey, do you know why so many whiteies need facelifts? I love that word. I'm trying to bring it back. <laughs> I love it. It's funny. Whitey! You know why? Do you know why so many Caucasians need facelifts? Because we don't know about lotion. <laughs> See that? Only half of you left. That should have been everybody. Yeah, but a lot of you were sitting there like, well, what about lotion? What is this lotion you speak of, and what is the magic therein? <laughs> Just to put it out there, you can use lotion on other parts of your body besides your dick. <laughs> yeah. If you ever wondered why your dick still looks brand new, but the rest of you is starting to look like an aging pirate, it's because you need to increase the circumference of the lotion distribution. All right, you got skin everywhere. Go on, check yourself out. The bottom of your feet look like a prehistoric riverbed. That's not part of the natural aging process. You dried out. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging anybody. I didn't know anything about lotion. Never used it the first 33 years of my life. Never used it. Till one night I was going out with this black girl, right? She was getting ready and she was just putting that shit on everywhere. Just slathering it on. I thought she had like a rash or something. I'm like, what are they, like poison ivy? What's going on with you? She goes, no, I'm just making sure I'm not ashy. I said, ashy? She goes, dry skin. I went, wow. I guess I freaked her out a little bit because I was like, wow. Oh. She's like, well, white people get ashy too. I was like, yeah, you know, I don't think we do. Yeah, I've been alive for 33 years. No one has ever said, hey, Bill, uh, you look a little ashy. I never even heard that word until you said it. She's like, you're an idiot, stick out your arm. So I stick out my arm and ever so gently, she just drags her nails down. This smoke starts coming up. It's like pastry flakes flying off, track marks. She's signing her name. She's like, you see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're ashy? Freak me out, I'm like, holy shit, I'm ashy. I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was that I always got itchy in the winter. Couldn't figure it out, always got itchy in the winter. What the fuck do I get itchy? I thought it went the bath towel was dirty. That's what I thought. And I would change it out and put a fresh one. Now I'm gonna be okay, take a shower, dry off, fucking itching again. God damn it, I hate the winter. See that? That's why you gotta hang out with everybody. Yeah. There's too much information in the That's world true. and every group of people misses a little bit. White people totally miss the lotion seminar at some point in history. I don't know if it's because we can't see it, you know, black people get ashy. It looks like they like leaned up against a chalkboard or something. You know, they can see it. They miss it, their friends help them out. Like, look at your ashy motherfucking elbow. What is wrong with you, right? <laughs> right, right. We miss that shit the way black people so miss true. the whole register your weapons summit, right? <laughs> Just never got the information. The amount of rappers who've been busted for the unregistered Glock in the car just blows my mind. It's like, why would you do that to yourself? Yeah. Do you just want to make an album over the phone? Is that what it is? Is that like the new <laughs> auto-tune or some shit? I don't know. Oh, no, it breaks my heart every time I'm I see it. Dead. I just think, God, if he just had one white friend. If he just had one white friend right. in his entourage, the dude would have been sitting there going like, is that thing registered? You out of your mind? <laughs> Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Yeah, it's illegal. That's like fucking three to five mandatory. Dude, how do, you, how do you not know that? That's the question. How do you not fucking know that? This guy's got an unregistered weapon in the car. Like, we're just gonna go driving around with it. It's just, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> so see, there you go, all right? You don't need a facelift, okay? 
Lay off the booze. Do some cardio. Moisturize. You're going to be fine. Use lotion. Okay, don't right. believe in these myths. Black don't crack. It's bullshit. They all put lotion on like every 20 minutes during the day. It's ridiculous. Yes, they all got a giant yes. oil drum with a shit at home. True. Every morning they wake up, they dump themselves in it, shake themselves off, and walk out the door <laughs> absolutely glistening. Glistening! White guys like me are walking around, no hat on. Hey, let's go sailing! <laughs> Passing out face down in the sand. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no, it's just so funny because it's, it's so true. Like, I've had conversations with people, you know, about lotion. And, like, I have a thing. Like, literally, I have, like, a phobia. I don't know what you would call it. But if I feel ashy, if I feel like my skin is dry, I can't function. Like, I can't leave the house without lotion, without some sort of shea butter if you know you know if you guys don't know about shea butter look it up but i like one of like the complaints that my partners have had is like why are you always so sticky like you're always you always have something on you yeah i use lotion <laughs> all the time like i re up literally when he said every 20 minutes that is so true like if I, like, even now, like, I feel like my skin, is, it's the winter, it's about to be cold, my skin's dry, I use, and not just on my hands, not just on my body, like, my face. And, once again, I do think it's a cultural thing, because my mom would not let me leave the house without putting Vaseline all over my face. Like, being ashy, like, was a thing with black parents like you can't leave the house ashy because it means you look broke <laughs> you don't come from a good <laughs> you don't come from a good home like <laughs> it's like if they thought like if the white teachers saw you ashy like they saw your elbows being crusty that they're gonna call like child protective services on you or something like that's how they treated it so literally before we leave to go to school it's your mom ducking her hand in the Vaseline and putting it all over your face. You can't even breathe. You're like, <laughs> like literally, you, you look like a, a fried piece of greasy fried chicken, but you weren't ashy. So yeah, that's that was hilarious. I love Bill Burr. So funny. You could make it's like he could talk about anything and make it funny. So if you guys want to see me react to more from Bill or any other stand-up comedy, I love stand-up comedy. Like, I truly love stand-up comedy. I'm not one of those people who's like, oh, it's offensive, da 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 Like, come on now. We're all adults here. Let's stop the BS, okay? So like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed seeing me laugh. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.